Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aptera Reboot. Today, we're looking at how battery production constraints are affecting electric vehicle proliferation. No matter how much we all want to see the world fully transition to electric vehicle, this will remain only a dream unless we can massively increase battery production or rethink electric vehicle design. Currently, about 60 to 70 million passenger cars are produced each year, of which only 2 to 3 million are electric vehicles. This means EV production volume needs to be increased by 20 to 35 times just to convert all newly produced cars to electric. If you listen to various car manufacturing CEOs from around the world, you will find that they all have some common concerns when it comes to electrification. Affordable battery production and battery energy density. One of the biggest issues with battery production is that mining the raw materials can be very harsh on the miners and have a very negative impact on the environment if not done responsibly. Even if we could quickly solve the ethical and environmental issues associating with mining of the raw materials, there are still a lot of challenges in the manufacturing process itself. Battery production requires a lot of material uniformity and minimal impurity, so a lot of work goes into ensuring there is no contamination during the manufacturing process. Any mistakes found by quality control means shutting down production lines and finding the source and extent of the issues. Small defects and impurities can lead to large quantities of batteries being rejected and having to be recycled. Needless to say, it costs a lot of money and time to ensure safe and reliable performance from every battery cell produced. Battery safety and reliability are crucial to mass EV acceptance because the last thing we want to see is nightly newsreels of EVs stranded on the side of the streets or worse, catching fire. The other big issue with current EV battery technology is energy density. Energy density is the amount of energy produced by volume. Comparing gasoline energy density to battery energy density gets a little tricky, so consider the following as a simplified explanation of the issue. Now this is not a very fair comparison because what matters most is turning energy into motion. Gasoline engines are super inefficient. Even the best gas engines can only manage to convert about 40% of the fuel into useful energy. Whereas the best electric motors can convert about 90% of battery energy into motion. Gasoline is about 10 times more energy dense by volume and about 50 times more energy dense by mass. This means if we were to shrink down a gas tank to the size of a battery cell, you would need 10 battery cells to equal the amount of energy in one gasoline cell and those 10 battery cells would weigh about 50 times as much as the one gasoline cell. All this is to say that you need a lot more space in an EV for batteries compared to the space needed for a gas tank. But don't worry, solid state batteries will fix this, right? We see headline after headline announcing breakthroughs with solid state battery technology and how they're going to change the world. Many believe that once solid state batteries get into the marketplace, battery energy density will increase by tenfold. The big problem with that is nobody really knows when that will be. Let's get a better understanding of how batteries function and how solid state can change the game. All batteries have four components, a metal anode, a metal cathode, a separator, and some sort of liquid electrolyte which facilitates the flow of electrons back and forth. This flow of electrons across the separator represents the charge and discharge cycles. Liquid electrolytes, however, are highly flammable and they don't perform well at colder temperatures. Solid state battery technology is all about replacing the flammable, short lived liquid electrolyte with a much safer, non flammable, long lived solid electrolyte. Not only would this make batteries safer, it would also allow batteries to be up to 10 times more energy dense and also have a significantly longer life cycle than current battery technology. The problem with solid state batteries is that we're still in the early phase of development and even small scale applications won't be seen until at least 2025. Maybe we'll see EV applications in 2030 to 2035. 
This brings us back to why Aptera's mission is so crucial for the entire EV industry. Now that we understand that EV batteries are difficult and costly to produce, and we also understand that batteries take up a lot of space and are very heavy, this tells us that EV manufacturers should do everything they can to squeeze every bit of energy out of this limited resource. This is precisely Aptera's mission. Aptera designs the shape of their vehicle to maximize the amount of distance traveled per energy unit. Aptera is so efficient that it only needs about a quarter the amount of batteries as a comparably sized EV. In other words, you could build four Apteras for every standard EV. If other vehicle manufacturers were to incorporate Aptera's mission statement into their vehicle design, we could see a much faster transition to EV worldwide. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to support the show, please visit us on Patreon, or you can visit the Teespring store at ApteraReboot.com. I just uploaded a new design, so please check that out. Your support is dearly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Aptera was designed to be the most efficient solar electric vehicle on the planet. And with this in mind, we are always looking for ways to improve the design to keep the drag as low as possible. In older designs, Aptera mimicked aircraft radiator systems to keep the drag low. But that wasn't enough. Aptera found a way to eliminate the radiators completely. To dissipate heat, Aptera circulates coolant through biologically inspired channels throughout its skin. This allows the vehicle's exterior to serve as a radiator and also allows the cooling system to produce zero drag without the extra weight, cost, and energy of fans. This is just one example of many that Aptera has changed the way we move from one location to the next in a more efficient and sustainable way. Reserve your Aptera today.